Hi there, it's uh, September 28, 2011, and we come to you with some sad news. Katrina was actually kidnapped this morning uh, by the Cuba Police Department under orders of the St. Charles uh, Family Court. Uh, we've called Stephen Tilley, who's the Missouri House of Representatives Speaker of the House, and uh, we're going to do whatever we can to get uh, Judge uh, Pelican impeached. Uh, we found numerous conflicts of interest, uh, a lot of monkey business going on, thefts of uh, large sums of money, uh, the foster parent uh, being accused of um, numerous things. Um, but this system has totally failed uh, Mike and Sarah here. Uh, Sarah is uh, Katrina's biological mother, and, and Mike and Sarah have been married for nine years now. They have a stable home down in Cuba. And Katrina was actually uh, left the foster care system. She is uh, 19 years old. And the first thing I wanted to show you all today is the order which put Katrina back into the custody of the state care system. And this is in the interest of Katrina uh, Helverly is her actual uh, uh, stolen state name is what she's going under now. But uh, she is, uh, as it says right here, a female juvenile at the age of 19 years old. Uh, our first question is, is how can you be a juvenile at the age of 19 years old? Her birthday is in what, February 13th? February and uh, she will be 20 years old uh, in February. And her elder brother, James, will be 21 in February. in February as well. And he is still in the care and custody of the state of Missouri as well. Uh, but this is an order to take into judicial custody. And uh, my first gripe this morning, and God bless the Cuba police, uh, is actually for them executing this order. Obviously, anyone with um, any acumen or any intelligence whatsoever would realize a 18-year-old is a, is a juvenile or 18 and under, and there is some even gray area at 17, but we definitely know that a 19-year-old cannot be considered a, ju a juvenile under the, any state law or any laws of the United States as well. Uh, now, we've called the U.S. Marshals Service, we've called the FBI, uh, we've called the state representative, uh, Stephen Tilley, and um, we've called the, the, the Crawford County Sheriff, um, and these all are refusing to act, so really all we can do is put together another YouTube video and let Mike and Sarah kind of pretty much tell the story. Uh, Sarah, what happened this morning at 10 o'clock, or, or, or what was going on? Okay, okay. I was getting ready to get Katrina into the shower because she had a doctor's appointment at 3 o'clock this afternoon to see one doctor and find out what medications she needs and get her one supervised doctor. Here come two cops and a CPS worker knocking at my door and they took Katrina by this order. She cried, she screamed, she tried going back into the house. They wouldn't let her go back into the house. She said she was home. She didn't want to go back. She refuses to go back to Pat Martin's home. Um, they took her. They stole her. She's got bank statements. She's she's had Pat Martin removed from her bank. Uh, Pat Martin's been stealing her money. We have it with their own yearly review uh, reports from the children about the original sixteen thousand dollars and how Miss Martin spent it and how it was replaced by the state of Missouri our taxpayer dollars. And um, there's supposed to be an account uh, held with the $16,000 that they replaced, but not being a gambling man, I'll gamble on this one and say that there's not an account in existence. We can prove that they've taken, she's taken $300 the day before Katrina left the system while she was in New Orleans, had $300 transferred from her account. We have several copies of several checks from the bank where Katrina couldn't even write a $2 check for her lunch to the school because Pat Martin kept her account empty. There's $10 checks. Um, we have a copy of a check where Pat Martin paid $30 to the Boy Scouts for entertainment book. Hello, Katrina's not a boy. Well, yeah, and, you know, and the thing about it is, is now um, some of the foster parents had run into a little trouble with the law. Um, now, Explain that, if you would, Sarah. Um, explain uh, how Pelican, who was the judge on Katrina's case, was also the judge on, was it Pat Martin or no, uh, Kathleen? Uh, just a friend of Katrina's. I won't mention any names until 
she approves it. But a friend of Katrina's that was in the system, she is a foster care of Pat and foster foster care with Pat. The judge was going to keep her till she was 21. Well, she was giving Pat problems, so Pat transferred her out of her house to another house, and then this girl realized that I'm an adult. She was 18, and the judge was going to keep her till 21. She packed her stuff, went home to her biological mother. Judge Pelican said, well, she's an adult, washed his hands of her, and then sold, him, sold her his personal car. Now, why would he do that, so. people? What would make him feel so generous to he, somebody that disobeyed his order the same as Katrina and packed up and left? He didn't send out Why a pickup order that? for her. Um, and Pelican had also been involved in some criminal matters concerning some of the other foster parents. Um, uh, Katrina's previous foster family, the, Helder, uh, the Helderleys, who actually had adopted her, uh, Mr. Helderly was sexually abusing her from the time she was what, four years old up until he passed at the age of 13. And there were criminal charges pending against both Pat and uh, David Helderly. And uh, who, was, who was the judge on those matters? Judge Pelican, on most of them. Some of them he handled the cases. There was a Ted House and a couple other ones, but Pelican handled several cases at the time they were in the house. He knew what type of people they were. He could have stopped it at any time, especially when he's had the kids in front before he was he was their judge there to protect him he let that go on he knew what type of person and people they were he could have yanked them babies from that home at any time for them writing checks over and under five hundred dollars cut out mufflers i mean he could have he could have served justice for any number of reasons but yet he let them people go on and abuse them children he knew what type they were the woman that abused her kathleen helderly has also just been given probation. She hasn't served a, served a day She's in prison. Been in jail, but not in prison. Um, and we're reading through their court paperwork, and they were trying to reconcile and place Katrina and James back into her home. Keep in mind, this is the same woman. Look on case.net and look at all the cases, the years, and all the rulings of Judge Pelican and... You know, if you guys know anything about this case, you guys know the dates all coincide. You know, it's all there. It's in black and white. We have the Facebook message with all the pretty headers around it, how Judge Pelican basically told James, I'm not letting you out of the system unless you enlist it in the Marines. James went ahead and enlisted in the Marines because he wanted off his medication and he just wanted to come home. He was supposed to be released yesterday and... Um, Lou and James got about two minutes from their house on the way to the courthouse. Judge Pelican sent a call to them and told them to turn around and go home. So James never made it to the courthouse, never got released, and we woke up this morning to them taking Katrina and kidnapping her against her will, I might add. This is what I got from the courthouse yesterday. this mother around and um, you know it's a travesty of justice it really is and we don't understand how this can continue to go on uh, really the only solution that we have to this right now is to make this public and that's the whole point of these videos uh, with the first videos we put up on YouTube we had well over 500 visitors to them and then uh, they've went viral um, and, and we've had other uh, other 
instances is going on, but Sarah's got something to say here. I would also like to make a statement that I had never been arrested before this case happened when it very first happened back in 95. Never been arrested for anything in my life. Kathy and David had been arrested when I was in California giving birth to my son. They had criminal charges from back then. So that was the foster parents they sent them to. Uh, yeah, it seems that the whole foster care system is certainly flawed. Um, we're going to make um, all the powers that be aware of these videos. But, and Mr. Uh, Pelican. Uh, we are going to uh, remove Mr. Pelican from the bench uh, uh, through the system. Uh, articles of impeachment. Uh, we hope to be able to find someone to introduce articles of impeachment through the House of Representatives. We are also going to file a... Uh, a uh, formal complaint with the Commission of Retirement, Removal, and Discipline of Judges. Uh, obviously, there's a conflict of interest here, and uh, it goes a lot deeper than just uh, these situations uh, that we're talking about now. Uh, what we discovered back when Sarah had her parental rights terminated, Sarah, tell them the deal that they offered to, to make you uh, the day in court when they ter terminated your parental rights for, for Katrina. Uh, if I signed rights of Katrina a away, that they would take Katrina and I could just take James home and be a happy family with James and the baby that I was pregnant with. I was pregnant with my youngest daughter, Samantha. She's 15 years old now. Uh, I was pregnant with her, had her 13 days after my final visit picture. Straight A student, president of the Key Club, not a thing wrong. On a roll. Actually, you guys could learn a thing or two from her. Perfectly healthy child and happy in her home. Uh, yeah, and now you have the foster care system, and with the help of uh, local law enforcement, uh, kidnapping a, uh, a, a Katrina and still holding James uh, under duress, uh, and he'll be 21 years old very soon. Uh, that's basically all we had to say at this point in time. Um, Unless Mike or Sarah have something else to say. How, how are we doing on time there, young lady? 12 minutes. I'd okay. mentioned that they keep her on drugs to keep her dumbed down. Well, yeah, they yes. are immediately already doing that. The, the CPS worker did state <laughs> she was happy to see her medications and everything. They did strip her of her phone and her computer now, so she has no contact. We don't know when we'll be able to talk to her or what's going on until we get this judge taken care of. Um, We've got plenty of financial she was records. Perfectly she was completely healthy when they took her. Healthy, safe, Happy. fine, protesting, telling them she was home. She was 19, an adult. Uh, so if anything happens to Katrina, please, people, be aware. There's tons of witnesses, tons of people that can verify, as well as the Cuba cops. And uh, she was fine when she left. So there is deaths and things that happen to people that speak out against these people and what they do and I think it is serious and to this point and these people are those types. and I people. did have a doctor's appointment set for today for right here in my local town a local doctor who was going to try to treat her and take care of her make sure everything was okay with her so they couldn't say that I wasn't getting her treated for anything and, yeah I think it's also noteworthy to note that uh, she was on nine different medications when you got her from the state of Missouri uh, from five different doctors. Uh, didn't have one primary care uh, provider, but had five different doctors, so they're basically out doctor shopping. And we mentioned the, the fact of the money stolen missing from the, her accounts. Uh, Katrina, they had labeled her as being uh, uh, basically retarded, uh, but, but Katrina had uh, achieved well in school, had uh, above average grades in school, had her driver's license, I had a vehicle that she worked for, paid for, enrolled in, uh, enrolled in college, doing very well in college, and uh, basically this whole system has snatched her back in. Uh, but this Judge Pelican is certainly suspect, and we just ask you to pray for the folks at the Division of Family Services and Judge Pelican, and uh, pray that they get to know the Lord, because um, these are serious and trying times that we're all living in here, folks. And uh, Mike and Sarah are just a part of the, uh, uh, just some of the victims of this system. Uh, we've heard from literally hundreds of others of people who have been uh, victimized by the Division of Family Services, the Department of Social Services, and uh, this foster abuse system is going to come to an end. And uh, we're going to do everything we can to expose them for the, for the, for the type of people they are. And uh, they're baby, they're, they're, they're kidnappers. 
and uh, thieves on top of that. So that's really all we wanted to say. Uh, go ahead, Sarah. James, Katrina, and Samantha, I love you very much if you see this video, and I always will, and I'll fight forever for you guys. I love you. Till death, babies. And, and let me tell you this much, folks, before we cut this off, and we're going to try to keep this under 15 minutes. I think we're pretty close. To, well, we're a little over 15 minutes. But uh, you know what, uh, folks? This Not country is supposed to be government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And what we have in America today is not a, co a, a country we can't even begin to recognize. Uh, and how the local law enforcement people can uh, actually execute an order that says a juvenile is 19 years old when we all know that a juvenile is over 18. I have children upstairs that are 17, 18 years old, and they can't even figure it out uh, how they could be. Uh, my son is actually... Uh, uh, He's sovereign on his own at 17. So, uh, I, I mean, this whole thing is just a scam, folks. It's plain and simple. And it goes a lot further than the money. It goes a lot further than uh, just the custody. There's a lot of other wicked, vile stuff that's going on that we won't even mention at this point in time because they're serious allegations. And until I can actually prove them, uh, I'm not even going to go there. But uh, you can just let your uh, imagination run wild with this whole situation. Why would he sell a car to uh, be so generous with a kid who disobeyed his orders? And Mr. Pelican, those kids hate your guts. They're going to tell you. You know, they know what you are and who you are and what you're doing. You know, and they've had enough. They want to come home. So Katrina was off the med for, meds for two weeks. Her eyes have been open. Her brain is blossoming. She's doing James so good at her. And like Moses said to Pharaoh, let my people go. So let that's, my that's children go. Free. Let my children go. So that's all we really wanted to share with you right Thank now. You. We'll have more later on. Hey, God bless you all for looking. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amen.